Welcome to another video Walk on the Wild Side and I am here in Blackpool. It's around about half past seven in the morning. Yeah, it's really quiet. I'm in the Foxhall area at the moment. This is Dale Street. It's actually where the one pound burger is. I'll just turn you around. There you go. Don't forget you can get your calendars here. The Blackpool Walk on the Wild Side calendars from here. And also a happy day is just up there. But anyway, oh, look at the tower. Look at it all lit up in gold this early in the morning. I don't think they turn the lights off the tower sometimes, do they? Anyway, I'm heading to the promenade because I want to check up on some of the light pool displays. And now obviously some of them got battered by the winds and some of them got damaged, I believe. Um, there was that one called Flux, which was inside the tent. Now the tent got literally blown away. Now I have heard that they, they're rebuilding it somewhere else, which I can't believe really, because I thought it would have been written off. But anyway, I heard a rumor, I can't find anything concrete by the way, what they've done with it. They've moved it into the tower building. So if anybody knows, let me know. But anyway, let's head onto the promenade and see, what's, see what it's like now, a couple of days after the big storm. So I'm just here on Chapel Street, outside the Stanley, the Stanley Show Bar. That is a grand building, that by the way. Yeah, look at that. It's a bit like Mark Kelly's as well, isn't it? It's all lit up and they've got singers on, karaoke. Look at all the sand down here. There's still loads and loads of sand around here, look. And as I turn this way, look at this. We've got sand dunes. <laughs> on the streets of Blackpool, look at this, wow. <laughs> I think they're still working their way through it, cleaning it up. But you can see these, uh, we've got a chippy up here, and uh, they, they must have had some sandbanks up against the, the doors. But look, look at it, look. <laughs> they need a digger to come along and scoop it all away and take it back to the beach, don't they? But anyway, we're just heading up to the towards the central pit there's a little look down Foxhall Road quite a bit of building going on the, the, the got scaffolding up on the lifeboat down there that's not open at the moment this chippy here is called the sea so for those people that are not sure where the one pound burger is it's just down there on the right hand side it's pretty easy to find and just over here we've got happy days amusements you can get the the calendars in there as well. Oh, we're coming onto the promenade now. Look at this. This is how Blackpool looks. Just as the sun's rising. It's around about quarter to eight now. Let's have a look at the central pier. There you go. So let's head across here, shall we? We've got a massive sandbank there as well, where people cross the road. <laughs> look at that, wow. Oh, it's almost on the tram tracks. They could never scoop that away, really, couldn't they? What do you reckon? As I was stood here on Sunday, Sunday evening, and this part, I don't know what it is about this part of the promenade, but right here, the, uh, the wind it just seems to whip up. It, it could be the pier, I'm not too sure, but it just seems to really, really whip up. And all that dry sand that was on the beach was just blowing all around here. And yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, there was sand, there was like whirlwinds all across there. It, it just must be the shape of the pier or the bill, oh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was pretty hectic. You'll have to look at the video to see what I'm talking about. But anyway, we'll head, up, we'll head up this way. I'm going to head right up to, uh, right up to the Metropole. So I just want to check up on what's there and what's not there. Can anybody remember when we used to have the RNLI building somewhere around about here? And I think we had a, a lost children's centre as well. It was on this side of the central pier. It was, the, the RNLI building was like a, a tiled, a cream coloured tile building. 
It's not that long ago, you know, but look at this. We built this massive headland here when, when they put the new seawall in. Look at all this sand here. Look, they have scooped quite a lot of this up. And they've... Uh... Oh, look, a metal detector. I still mean to do some metal detecting, so uh, watch out for that. But here's a look at the beach. And just over here, we've got some... Uh, Bit, big bits of wood over there, that'd be nice for the garden, that wouldn't it? Anyone fancy any garden furniture, take your pick. Look at that there. Yeah. And just over here, we've got a massive one over here. Look at this. Look at that. You could make a seat out of that. You could probably sell it for a fortune. There's another one over there, look. Where's that come from? Who knows, it could have come from Ireland. What do you reckon? Anyone fancy a shower? Are they supposed to be running? <laughs> Where's that water coming from? Anyway, let's... Uh check out the bauble. The baubles are intact. Well, these are very popular. Let's go through these, shall we? They look a lot better at night when they're all lit up. That over there is Spyro. It's a bit freaky, that one. When you walk through it, you feel like you're, you're dizzy, spinning. And just a bit noisy motorbike. Oh. Do my head in. How can I have such a noisy motorbike? Anyway, the, uh, these are the jellyfish. I saw them putting this up as well. This is one of the ones I saw putting up. And uh, yeah, they were swinging around a bit in the storm, but they're all right. They survived. But just up here is where the marquee was. It's not there anymore. But at least it didn't blow away. Because I tell you what, when I saw it on Sunday night, and then battling to try and keep this marquee from blowing away, it did look, oh, it's quite scary, folks. It really was. But it was just here, just here. You see where all this sand is here? And that had the flux extended exhibit inside and from what I've heard this is only a rumour someone said oh the, they're putting it back together again and they're putting it inside the tower building but that, that's a, it's only what I've heard on Facebook or maybe a YouTube comment I couldn't find any concrete evidence of that so we'll carry on we've got the donkeys here this is a new one. The donkeys are intact. It takes a bit more than a bit of wind to uh, to break the Blackpool donkeys. The Albert and the Lion will be opening up any time. Might be tempted to go in there for some breakfast. What do you reckon? Let's have a look at the uh, the light pool projection unit. That's all there. They did have to repair that bit of fence there. But this is protected by the... Can you see they've got a windbreak behind there? Maybe they should extend the windbreak. What do you think? We've got the windbreak that goes... Well, it goes all the way along the back of here. It does protect this thing anyway. And the Blackpool sign, of course. Let's have a look, another look at the tower, shall we? Come on with the comedy carpet, it's got to be done. There you go. They're getting too light soon, we'll have to turn the lights off. There's a couple of other displays up here which got blown about a bit. There's one that they had to take away, it got damaged, I showed you on the previous video. 
I can't remember the name of it. Sonulus, was it? Yeah, that one. The one that looked like an Elon Musk satellite, according to that fella. <laughs> but this one here, the Venetian blinds, this one's... This one's all right. They put that back together again. But it was the one that was just up here. The one that looked like a big sort of... I don't know. Can't describe it. You'd have to, you'd have to see my video. But it's not there now. They've, they've had to take it away. So we've got the clean-up team out. In Blackpool. We're just coming towards 8 o'clock now. This is how busy the prom looks. Pretty busy, actually. I'll tell you what, it soon gets busy. Blackpool Promenade. It's waking up now. As a tram comes along, the North Station. Just over there, we've got the Blackpool Amusements. I took cover in there the other night. When it was really windy, I had to jump into there to take cover because it was getting a bit scary. Anyway, let's carry on. Coyote Ugly is here in Blackpool and I think it's open now. I don't know much about it, but uh, if anyone's been in or anyone knows what it's all about, let me know. But it's new to Blackpool. That used to be the Revolution Bar. Got the bowling just above that. Now I did mention on the last, not the last video, the, the storm aftermath video that the Helter Skelter had blown off the North Pier. But someone said, no, they took it down. They took it down in advance. So I don't know, I thought it had blown off in, in the storm. There was a Helter Skelter on the end of the North Pier, just before the Joe Longthorne Theatre on the right hand side. And I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Did it blow off? Or was it removed? So I'm just behind this big box here which projects onto the wedding chapel there. That's another one of the, the displays. Blackpool is waking up. So all I want to do now is just head the other side of the North Pier. I just want to check on that one on the other side. So I'm just going past the North Pier. It's gone through a few changes since it was first opened in 1863. Blackpool's oldest pier. I watched a video of it. It must have been from the 70s or the 80s maybe. And it was all clad in like, it was all square looking at the front. And uh, there was a couple of guys arguing outside about, they were just having a bit of banter about entertainment or something. It's on YouTube somewhere, some of you might know it. And you can see the, oh, I can hear the, the bong of the town hall, listen. Eight o'clock in Blackpool. That's the town hall. Yeah, so there's a, I can't, just two guys just having a bit of a ding dong about entertainment or something like that, about what to do about Blackpool or something like that. <laughs> Have a look for it on YouTube, you might find it. But the, 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 the North Pier looks so different then. Wow. Anyway, let's just head down here now. Turn it around. There's the, uh, the War Memorial. Just here we've got the beer monster shelters. I think we're a bit too early for them. So I just want to head down to have a look at that thing down there. Stella Artois. Night Cider. 8.4%. Wow, there's me thinking Stella was strong. Oh, the Starlings, hey, look at that. Can you see that? The Starlings are leaving the North Pier. Wow, we're getting to see them leave. 
it's that time of year, folks, where the starlings start to congregate. They'll have all migrated back our way again from Scandinavia. And we're going to start to see them do the, the special shows at sunset, yeah? Looking forward to that. So we'll just take a little look at this, shall we? Oh, this one is actually called Somnius. 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 Looks pretty good, actually. If you get to see it, hopefully it's OK. It's all fenced off at the moment. They'll probably open it up at night when it's on. But it is actually really, really good, this one. It all lights up, of course, and they've got, like, atmospheric music going on. So uh, there you go. I'll just show you the, the information here. There you go. It's quite nice and peaceful down here at the moment. I'm on the lower promenade here. It's not bad weather this week, really, you know. But anyway, that was a little look at Blackpool Promenade a few days after the big storm, Storm Ashley, and uh, the damage that it caused. So it didn't really cause a whole lot of damage, really. Not, not to buildings or anything like that. Yeah, it damaged that marquee and the uh, display was inside it. Now, I couldn't find anything about what they've done with it. It's just what I heard on Facebook or something. They said they moved it inside to the Winter Garden, not the Winter Gardens, the Tower Building. But I looked and looked, I searched all over to find out anything about it and I couldn't find anything. So let me know what you think. If you know anything, put it in the comments. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.